what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I wanna talk about Michael Kowalski's new report analyzer tool. Stay tuned. If you're finding this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam and this guy. All right. Report Analyzer. If you guys don't know Michael Kowalski, you should head over to his blog site, Elegant BI. It's amazing. Not only does he post blogs, but he always creating these new tools to make developing and analyzing and identifying best practices for Power BI so much easier. And in this video, I want to kind of do an unboxing of the new Report Analyzer tool that he created because frankly, it's pretty good. All right. So you guys know what I like to do instead of always talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. First thing you need to do is head over to elegantbi.com and he's got two blog posts. He's got one on the report analyzer and then he added an update because he introduced report analyzer recommendations. And we'll talk about both of them in this video. Once you're over here on this blog site, you would go ahead and click on GitHub repo and you would download the report analyzer. Pretty easy to download it. Once you have it downloaded, before you run it, you need to open up your Power BI desktop file. And for any report page that you want to analyze, you need to use the performance analyzer. And so this is what you do. Create a blank page because it'll clear out both the visual and the data cache. You go to view and you choose performance analyzer, start recording, and then you click on the page that you want to grab the metrics for. And you repeat this for all the pages and then you click this export button. Once everything is run, you create a folder somewhere on your machine. You take the Power BI desktop file or you can use a PBIT file and the corresponding JSON file that you exported from the performance analyzer and you put them in the same folder. Then you could use the report analyzer tool. Once you have those stored in the folder, you can either launch the report analyzer as an external tool from Power BI Desktop, or you can go to your menu and search for it, and then the tool launches. The first thing you wanna do is click File and select Folder, and then you're gonna to browse to the location where you've stored the PBIX file and the corresponding export of your performance analyzer, the JSON file. So in my case, my report analyzer folder, and you click OK. It's gonna do its thing, and then it's gonna be ready. You can have multiple JSONs and multiple PBIX files in the folder. And then you can see the corresponding pages here. Click on my overview sales page because that's the one I exported the JSON for. So I click it and immediately you see this big red box. And that's letting me know that within the DAX query time threshold, this query is within that range. And so you can see right here, the range is between three seconds and 20 seconds. So anything greater than three seconds is going to highlight. If I move it this way, you'll see other things starting to highlight. So anything more than 1.5 seconds, if I go all the way back, anything greater than zero seconds is going to highlight. This is the one I want to focus on. I can click it and then I can head over to Notepad or DAX Studio. All the details about that visual will be captured and I can look at it. I can run the query. I have the visual type. I have the DAX query time, the render time, and all the information about that visual just by clicking on a particular element. This is great. I like it a lot. In the drop down at the top, I can click different things. So I can choose different reports. I can choose visual types. Let's say I go choose a card. You see how it highlights the card. I can choose my really big matrix again if I click here and choose my matrix see it highlights the matrix I actually have a list of the visual IDs and we'll talk about these in just a little bit these are really important and again I can set the DAX query time that meets the criteria for my slow queries and it's really flexible and it's really easy if you're not using this you should really check it out to help optimize the performance of your reports if you go over here to view you can see I can show the hidden visuals which you know is something you may want to do and then tools there's two really neat things here you can export the report metadata it's a little beyond the scope of this video, but everything that Michael's displaying in this display, you can export it out to a file if you want to analyze it separately. But what's really exciting, and this is in that second blog post, is you can view recommendations. You guys remember Michael put out something in the tablet editor about best practice rules analyzer, right? But that was for the model in the DAX. This particular view recommendations is for your visuals. Check this out. So when I go here, click on tools, choose view recommendations. Quickly, here's a few recommendations that Michael has given to us. Remove custom visuals, reduce the number of visuals, reduce the number of objects in a visual. If I click and expand this, it'll actually show me the visual ID on the page. If I click it, it highlights and it's like, man, you have about 10 different measures or columns of things in this visual. You probably should look at reducing them. This is great. And then if I expand this, I can see that I have a top end filter that I probably should get rid of here. It's saying, hey, you're filtering on the measure. You probably shouldn't do that. Now, the interesting thing, check this out. You see how these two are red? It's because they correspond to the visual and that visual is red. If I adjust my 
Jax query time, if I go back to tools and choose view recommendation, all three of them are red because the first one refers to that visual and the second one refers to those particular visuals. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Michael. And there's lots of little indicators and tricks and tips up in the product that I'm sure I'm not touching on, but you need to head over to Elegant BI and read both of those blog posts. There's two more things I want to show you about this. I'm taking a look at this particular visual right here. And this guy is definitely taking a long time to run and I've published it out to the service. And now I want to do some analysis of these run times to see what response times people are getting from the different slices and variations of the reports that they're running. If you connected your workspace up to log analytics, you can head over to your log analytics workspace and you can actually run these KQL queries against it. If you head out to Michael's Git repo down at the bottom, he provided this query. I made a slight modification to it where I added a where clause. And this is where those visual IDs are really important because when I clicked on that element, I just copy that visual ID from here and add it as a filter because this returns a visual ID for me. And then I run this and this gives me tons and tons of metrics. It shows me this thing was run several times. You see there's lots of different durations. I can look at the DAX queries and then I can dig deep into this to try to figure out why is this so slow? And then I can optimize it up. And then the last thing I want to show you is back over in the tool. If you need any help, if you want to read the documentation on report analyze, if you want to report a bug, if you want to suggest the feature, just click it. It'll take you to Michael's Git repo and you can suggest things and make recommendation form. And he actually reads all of this because he's really passionate about optimizing these tools and helping the community solve their report performance problems. All right. What do you guys think? Have you checked out Elegant BI? Have you checked out the report analyzer tool? If you haven't, I suggest you go over and read the blog post and definitely download the report analyzer tool and run your report to it. I'm curious. Is your report fast? I love to know. Let's continue the conversation where in the comments below your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel hit that subscribe button if you like my video big thumbs up as always from adam and myself thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video